Welcome back to the Kansas City Royals franchise mode here on MLB The Show 23. It is opening day 2024 for the Kansas City Royals. They'll be on the road here against the Detroit Tigers. There's one of the newer members of this Royals team right there, and Andrew McCutcheon, the former National League MVP. And for the Royals, of course, taking on a lefty tonight in Tyreek Scooball. And Kansas City is going to have two very distinct lineups against both right-handed and left-handed pitching. Today, of course, you will see the bats against the left-handed pitcher in Scooball, you'll see guys like Andrew McCutcheon in the three spot. A guy in McCutcheon who still has got like 80 contact, 87 power against left handed pitching, so definitely like that in the lineup. But in terms of games where we're playing right handed pitching, it's likely that McCutcheon will not see the field. But we've got opening day action from Comerica Park in Detroit, Michigan. We've got the Royals and the Detroit Tigers, the two worst teams last season in the AL Central, looking for something just a little bit better this year. We'll see how it goes again. It starts tonight at Comerica Park. And folks, if you haven't yet, though, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below for some more MLB The Show 23. Here on the channel, there are your projections for the Royals this season. They got Pasquantino leading the team in average in OPS. Jock Peterson, both home runs in RBI. Bobby Witt with stolen bases and Salvi Perez in war. We'll see how that goes. I think maybe Bobby Witt Jr. will lead us in average in OPS, not Pasquantino. But again, time will only tell with the 2024 Kansas City Royals. They got Jock Peterson hitting some bumps. Another new addition to this Royals team. We're going to have to bat Jock in this lefty lineup. We'll see on this righty filled lineup, but honestly, we have so many lefties in this lineup. We'll see against again the left-handed pitcher in Tyreek Scooball, who had a good season last year. He had 3.22. Didn't win too many games because he is a pitcher for the Detroit Tigers. He's going to get Bobby Witt Jr. to pop out on that little slider in, and here is your Royals lineup for tonight. It goes Witt, Pasquantino, McCutcheon, Perez, Melendez, Olivares, Pearson, Muncie, and Garcia batting ninth. Here comes Vinny Pasquantino on the 1-1 pitch. Pasquantino gonna hit a slider. Left center field. That ball will get down. Vinny Pasquantino is gonna have extra bases as he'll be standing on second base with just one out for Andrew McCutcheon on the 2-1 pitch. McCutcheon gonna hit a slider in to right field. That ball will be caught by Austin Meadows. It's kind of deep, but we're not going to tag Pasquantino. We're going to hold him up, keep him at second base here with two outs for the four spot, which means Salvador Perez on the one-two pitch. Perez strikes out on the curveball by Scooball as we go into the bottom of the first. Here comes Brady Singer. Last year, 3.21 ERA over 33 starts, 11 and 13 was the record for him. You'll see Matt Veerling first in the one-one pitch. Veerling on the ground right to Luis Garcia. Last year's all-star in the National League. One down for Jace Young on the 1-1 pitch. Young on the ground, right to Garcia again. Easy second out for Kansas City. Now to the plate will be the all-star last year, Garrett Cooper on the 1-2 pitch. We showed some interest in Cooper in the offseason. Didn't bring him into Kansas City right there, though. He'll ground out as we go to the top of the second. MJ Melendez up first. Melendez, though, going to strike out on the sinker. And one gone in the inning now for Edward Oliveras on the 1-1 pitch. Oliveras is going to put one opposite field into right, but that one will be caught by Austin Meadows. Two gone now in the inning for the seven spot, which will mean Jock Peterson batting the slope because of Tyreek Scooball pitching. Obviously, Jock against righties will either be in the three or in the four. He's going to fly out right there. We go now to the bottom of the second inning. Eric Haas up first for the Tigers in the one-two pitch. Swing and miss. Singer going to set him down in the circle change. One gone out for Kerry Carpenter. Carpenter on the ground. That ball will get through. Carpenter is going to be on with a one-out single, bringing up Keston Hira on the one-two pitch. Hira going to strike out on the slider away. Two gone now in the inning. Inning for Austin Meadows, 2-2 pitch. Singer with the delivery, balls on the ground. Max Muncy with the dive. Oh, moving throw meter, can make the play. Everybody's safe for Patrick Wisdom, the former Chicago Cub, on the full count. Wisdom swing, and this. Singer gets him on the slider as we go to the top of the third. Max Muncy at first for the Royals. I mean, just an absolutely horrible swing. Scooball making guys look silly with that slider. It's going to be his third strike out of the ball game. Luis Garcia now the 1-2 pitch. Going to hit one on the ground at 2. The shortstop over there. And Javi Baez. Baez going to be batting in the 9 spot. But 2 down for Bobby Witt Jr. And again, that slider is nuts. So on to the bottom of the third, here comes Javier Baez. First in the 1-1 pitch, Javi on the ground. That ball is going to get past Luis Garcia. Baez, even though he's batting ninth, will be that second leadoff for the Tigers. He'll be on first base now for the center fielder, Matt Vierling. 3-2 delivery. And after a Baez steal, he's on second. Bobby Witt Jr., though, with the recovery right there. He'll make the play. One gone in the inning for Jace Young on the 1-1 pitch. Singer deals. Young going to elevate that sinker into center field. There, though, is Andrew McCutcheon. Again, McCutcheon will be playing in games with his left-handed pitcher, with the right-handed pitcher. I'll likely go back 
to Kyle Lewis just because I like Lewis out there with the fielding and just his hitting as a whole last season was pretty good Garrett Cooper though gonna dribble one right back to Brady Singer on the mound we move now to the top of the fourth inning hitting for the Royals it will be Vinny Pasquantino doubled in his last AP might have another one Pasquantino gonna hit a fastball left center field that ball's gonna get down and Vinny Pasquantino oh Matt Veerling gonna fall over in center field yes Pasquantino will be on with a double. Now up will be Andrew McCutcheon on the 2-1 delivery. McCutcheon gonna pull one. Deep left field. That ball's getting out in a hurry. That ball's out of here. Andrew McCutcheon goes yard for the Kansas City Royals. 371 feet off the bat. Of course, the first home run of the season for Kansas City, and it's a big one. First, it starts with the Pasquantino double. Andrew McCutcheon right after those, gonna line one deep into left field. And the KC Royals go up two to nothing. Thanks to the big shot by Andrew McCutcheon. Salvador Perez on the one two pitch. I mean, man, that slider again, though, by Tyreek Scooball is getting guys. It's gonna be Scooball's fifth strike out of the game into the hit for the Royals is MJ Melendez. Ah, uh, they're gonna say he went again. Yeah, Melendez goes on the slider away. Two gone now for Edward Oliveras. On the 3-2 offering, Oliveras will walk. So he'll be on first base with two outs. Giving a shot now to Jock Peterson, the designated hitter. On the 1-2 offering, Scooball deals and Peterson strikes out on a slider. We move now to the bottom of the fourth inning. Not before, though, that Andrew McCutcheon home run. 3-2 offering to Eric Haas. Haas going to put one on the ground to Bobby Witt Jr. There is Bobby Witt on the run, making the play. One gone now in the inning for the left fielder and Kerry Carpenter. 1-1 one, one pitch by Brady Singer. Carpenter again puts one to center field just like his first at-bat. But yet again, there's the former NL MVP in Andrew McCutcheon. Two gone in the inning for Keston Hira on the 2-1 pitch. Hira on the ground. One second baseman is going to grind out to another. However, here is DHing for the Tigers. Anyways, that does it for the fourth inning. We move to the top of the fifth. Max Muncy up first on the 1 1 pitch. Muncy up the middle of that ball, though, right into the shift. There's Javi Baez standing right over second base. One gone now for Luis Garcia, the all star on the 2 2 pitch. Garcia strikes out on the slider. Scooball has got eight of those things. Two gone for Bobby Witt Jr. Witt on the ground. That will get past the third baseman. Javi Baez going to have to go to a knee to get that one. And you are not throwing out Bobby Witt. Did he get slower? I think Witt got slower because of the injury. It was a forearm injury. Okay. Pasquantino going to ground out right there to the catcher. But if I'm not mistaken, Bobby Witt Jr. had 99 speed last year. Now he's got 97. I don't know how a broken fo forearm does that to you or just... Getting older, going from, what, 24 to 25 does that to you? Doesn't make any sense. However, there's going to be a double for Austin Meadows. That one got past the glove of Max Muncy at third base. So Meadows will be at second for Patrick Wisdom on the 3-1 pitch. Broken bat, but it will, will do a job. Moves a runner over to third. Pass Quintino makes the play, but one out runner on third for Javier Baez on the 1-1 pitch. Baez up the middle. That ball's going to get through. Baez is second in the game. Makes this a 2-1 ball game. The Tigers have cut this Royals lead in half. And now Matt Vierling on the 2-2 pitch. Hits one in the right field. Edward Oliveras, though, will make the play on the hit and run. Two gone in the inning. Runner on first for Jace Young on the 2-2 pitch. Young into the gap. That ball is going to get through and it should score Baez pretty easily. Javier Baez is going to go first to home as there is a huge result right there for Jace Young. 2-2 game here in the bottom of the fifth. Garrett Cooper trying to add on. He'll just roll over to short to Bobby Witt Jr. But the Royals have given up their lead. Detroit gets those two right back. 2-2 game going into the top of the sixth inning. Andrew McCutcheon up first and wow. Okay. Scooball and the Tigers is going to hit McCutcheon after he hits a home run. We'll take it. We'll take the base runner on first base. It's just going to bite us. I mean, it's not going to bite us in the ass, but we're just going to do nothing with it. Salvador Perez is going to ground right into a double play. Two down now for MJ Melendez on the 2-1 pitch. Melendez not going to get all that sinker and it will be caught in shallow left field. Ranging back, it will be Javier Baez. We go to the bottom of the sixth. Brady Singer is still pitching. Eric Haas going to put one into shallow right center field. Edward Oliveira is charging in. He'll make the play. One down for Kerry Carpenter. 99th pitch of the game for Brady Singer. Still delivering outs, however. That's a ground out to Luis Garcia. Two gone in the inning for Keston Hira on the 2-1 pitch. 1-0-3 for Brady Singer. And that will do it for his outing here on opening day. He'll get a no decision, but what an outing. Six innings, two runs given up. We got to go win this baseball game now in the top of the seventh. Edward Oliveira is going to hit a fastball in the center fielder. Right, though, to the center fielder in Matt Veerling. One gone for Jock Peterson on the 3-2 pitch. Peterson walks. 
So Jock will be on first base now for the eight spot, which means Max Muncy on the two on pitch. Muncy up the middle. Okay, pitchers get a knock it down. They're still gonna go to second, make the play. Two gone in the inning for the nine spot and Luis Garcia on the one two pitch. Garcia is gonna get jammed on the slider and that will do it for the top of the seventh. We move to the bottom half of the seventh inning. Pitching for the Royals will now be Dylan Coleman. Area 4.43 last season, over 84 games pitched and 91 and one third innings. Austin Meadows on the three two will not swing on that fastball up and away. He will take the base. Meadows is on first for Patrick Wisdom on the two two. Wisdom swing and a miss. Coleman gets him on the slider. One down for Javier Baez on the one two pitch. Baez takes strike three as well. Strike three looking on the slider. Two down for the top of the order. Matt Veerling on the 2-2 pitch. Ball is dribbled right back to the mound. There is Coleman as we go into the eighth inning. Hitting for the Royals. It's Bobby Witt Jr. Oh, they're going to say he went. I mean, the slider legend has been killing us all day long. But Vinny Pasquintino gets a fastball. His third hit of the game is a big one. Pasquintino makes it 3-2. 439 feet. Oh my goodness, we were saying the slider was getting us, well that was a fastball right down the middle. And if you get Vinny Pasquintino that, he's gonna put it in the seats. Pasquintino now three for four tonight on opening day at Comerica Park, and a huge, huge swing to put the Royals up three to two. With only one out in the inning, here comes Andrew McCutcheon on the full count, McCutcheon though, gonna strike out the 92 mile an hour fastball is going to get to him, two gone for Salvador Perez on the full count, Perez. That was a very slow circle change. We go to the bottom of the eighth pitching for the Royals. It will be Jordan Hicks, ERA of 3.68, over 58 and two third innings. Hicks will see Jace Young first for the Tigers, 2-2 pitch. Young gonna hit one to right field. That ball will get down. Lead off single for Detroit here to kick off the bottom of the eighth inning. Now up is the three spot and Garrett Cooper on the 1-1 one -one pitch. The former Marlin hits one in the right, but this time Edward Olivares is able to make that play. One down in the inning to the plate for the Tigers. It is Eric Haas. Swag and miss on the slider. Two gone now for Kerry Carpenter. And he will strike out swinging on the fastball up and in. To the top of the ninth, the Royals trying to add on MJ Melendez with a leadoff single. Going to hit one up the middle. He'll be on first base now for Edward Oliveras on the 1-1 pitch. Oliveras, that ball is going to be blocked by Patrick Wisdom, but everyone will be safe. Runners on first and second with no outs for Jock Peterson on the 1-1 pitch. Jock in a line one. That ball is going to get down. Jock against the right-handed pitcher delivers. He'll be on with the double, and the Kansas City Royals now go up 4-2. to They will have him on second and third with still no outs out Max Muncy on the 2-2 strikeout swinging slider away one gone for Luis Garcia on the 1-1 one -one pitch Garcia hits one in the outfield that might be deep enough I do not know coming up in the throw will be Matt Veerling we will send the runner to the dish everyone is safe the Royals extend their lead to 5-2 to two with two outs and to the play will be the top of the order. Bobby Witt Jr. on the 1-2 pitch Wit. that ball is gonna get away oh we're gonna send the runner and no, okay yeah, Jock Pearson is pretty slow. Anyways, we go to the bottom of the ninth. Coming out for the save, it will be our new closer in Blake Trinan. The 6'5 righty in his 12th year will come out for the save here with Kansas City. Keston Hira up first on the 1-1 one -one pitch. Can hit one on the ground. Bobby Witt Jr. though should be able to make the play. Oh, bad throw. Oh, and a pick. Vinny Pasquintino makes the play. One down for Austin Meadows on the 3-2 pitch. Meadows, though, going to draw the walk. Doesn't pull the trigger on the fastball down. One down for Patrick Wisdom on the 1-2. Offering Wisdom into center field. There is Andrew McCutcheon. Two down in the inning. The final hope for the Tigers will be the ninth spot in Javier Baez. However, Baez two for three tonight on the 3-1 pitch. Baez now three for four. Him and Pasquintino have been the stars for both teams here tonight. Baez going to be on with a two-out double. It will plate a run. The Tigers make this a 5-3 game. And don't look now, but the tying run is to the plate. It will be Matt Veerling on the 2-2 pitch. Veerling going to get popped up, though. There is Vinny Pasquintino, the man who put us in the spot to win the game tonight. Pasquintino, three for four, two doubles and a home run. Leads the Royals to victory. They're gonna win on the road here on opening day at Comerica Park. Your final, five to three again for the Kansas City Royals starting off this season 
one and oh and folks thank y'all for watching episode number 11 of the kansas city royals franchise mode here on mlb the show 23 the royals out hit or don't out hit the tigers both teams with eight hits but still the royals with five runs and the tigers of course with three so again the royals do enough to win here on opening day folks thank y'all for watching make sure that subscribe button down below for more make sure to leave a like if you are enjoying the series so far the padres march to october again i said it would be coming back today it will be tomorrow we have more padres march to october so be on the lookout for that again folks thank y'all for watching and mamba forever